Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I've had several people ask now uh, to do a detailed analysis of uh, cement flooring versus uh, rice hull flooring. And so I'm going to do that now and I'm not going to get into the uh, plastic slats that are commonly used on uh, large scale piggeries now. Uh, it's a whole different, uh, whole different animal there. Uh, the the pluses and minuses. That's what we're going to go through: uh, cement versus uh, rice hulls. Uh, the pluses using cement flooring are that it's it's fairly cheap uh, and it's easy to. It's easy to pour, it's easy to get done with what you want to get done with. Uh, it's fast, it's not that expensive, uh, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Uh, it's fairly, and, I, and I, use that, I use that term loosely, it's fairly easy to keep clean. Uh, It is uh, if if you if you are diligent about it, it's it's fairly sanitary. Um, and as far as cement goes, that's about cement flooring. That's about all the positives that I can say about it. Uh, the negatives are it's not terribly comfortable for the pigs. I mean, uh, how would you like to sleep on a you know, often, most of the time, damp floor, a cement floor? I mean, it's just not terribly comfortable. I and mean, you have to remember that pigs, this sow here, just, just call her average. Uh, she's weighing in right at uh, probably a hundred and... 120, 130 kilos. Uh, without her standing up, I, I can't really say. Maybe even 150 kilos. So she weighs over 300 pounds, probably like 350. So 350 pounds. That's 80 pounds of weight on each foot, and her foot is that big. Uh, it's about half the size of. Uh, a man's fist if you made a fist. So all that weight being carried around on a hoof on a cement floor is not that comfortable either. Uh, that's one of the that's, that's a couple of the drawbacks on cement flooring. Uh, it's just not comfortable. It's not easy for the pigs to walk on and it's not comfortable for them to lay on. Uh, come mating time being as it's usually wet and a bit slippery, uh, it's hard for the boar to find purchase. And of course, that's only if you're doing uh, natural breeding. If you're doing artificial insemination, it's not a problem. Uh, but we're doing the natural breeding here. Uh, the boars and the sows uh, mate. And uh, for that to happen, the boar has to, has to stand on something fairly stable. Other drawbacks of cement are uh, cleaning. Marcel and I, uh, using a pressure washer, and you really have to use a pressure washer when you have a cement floor. It was taking us about five hours, both of us working at it, uh, using a pressure washer to wash out these pens. And it's not like you just come in and uh, uh, wash them down real quick. Before the pressure washer, we were using a hose and two brushes, uh, two broom brushes, and uh, that took us uh, about six hours, both of us doing it. And at the end, your your feet are hurting uh, because you're standing on on cement. You're wet. Uh, for me, my back was hurting a bit from stooping over. Uh, it's really time consuming, and when you have a pressure washer, of course, it speeds everything up, um, but even if you have a, a good strong cement 
and the flooring. You are using something that uh, uses between 1,000 and 1,500 PSI. And every time you go through the pens with a pressure washer and clean them out, and they have to be clean, uh, you're eating away a bit of your concrete. It, uh, it just eats away the floors. And we were getting to the point to where the sand was actually plugging up the drain uh, because so much of it was coming up. So it's time consuming to keep the pins clean. And you have to, you have to keep them clean. Uh, you even have to go through once in a while and bleach them because uh, as you can see, this is a rough surface and any water that stands in that mixed with uh, feces and urine it's just a breed breeding ground, ground, a breeding ground for bacteria. So you've got to come through uh, at least weekly and bleach down the walls and the floors of the pens to keep it sanitary. Some people even do it more often than that, but at least weekly. Uh, you also have the expense if you're using an electric pressure washer. Well, then you have to provide electricity for it. If you're using a gas pressure washer you have to provide gas uh, it's not cheap they wear out uh, which whichever one you're going to do eventually it has a life cycle you're eventually going to have to replace it so you have that expense um, and the water used uh, either if you're just using a hose and brushes or if you're using a pressure washer in a piggery this size you're using thousands of gallons of water to keep it cleaned out and that because you're using that much water and you're spraying off the feces and urine uh, you just can't drain that off out into the ground uh, you have to have a septic tank and we built a large septic tank here 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet uh, I don't know how many thousands of gallons that is but it's a lot and we put a 120 feet of leach line on the end of that and we overwhelmed it in about two months because this ground doesn't percolate well here. So the moisture that we were, the water that we were using on the pens uh, completely filled up the septic tank and overwhelmed the leach line. So we were having stagnant pools of not nice water down on the other end of the piggery. So those are the, the all the negatives that I can think of using cement uh, just off the top of my head. I haven't made a list. Uh, the positives of using rice hulls are uh, they're cheap. Uh, we, we don't pay for these rice hulls. We occasionally pay to have them bagged, uh, but they're, they're usually free. Uh, so they're inexpensive. Uh, they break down over time and if you mix the manure with them, you have a good compost material. Uh, they're comfortable for the pigs to lay on. As you can see, this girl here uh, has a nice bed. And because of the climate here, it always being hot, uh, they have a nice cool place to lay down. Uh, you don't necessarily have to put a pool uh, in the pens if you keep the rice holes a bit damp. Uh, it's easier on their feet, it's more comfortable, uh, it's, uh, it, and one of the negatives that I didn't list using the cement floors is that it stinks. Because just when you get through with the pen on one end, uh, the, the pens that you started have six hours of uh, feces and urine buildup, and the next ones down have five hours, four hours. The only ones that are clean are the ones you just did. So there's always a smell of a pigger. It always smells like uh, crap and pee. Even if you're on it all the time. It just stinks. Whereas with these rice holes, there's virtually no smell whatsoever. Uh, and it's much less time consuming using rice holes to keep them cleaned out. Uh, you come along with a, a pooper scooper, basically and uh, we take out the, the feces, the poop, and put it in a sack and it goes on top of the uh, compost bin. And 
Jen will go along. That's about an hour of her day every day is uh, coming along with her scoop and scooping out the, the poop. Uh, and that's that's about it. I mean, that's that's what she does to clean these pins. So it's two people, six hours on a cement floor, and one person for one hour uh, with using rice hull bedding. It saves a, an incredible amount of time uh, using the rice hull bedding. Uh, 12 man hours a day versus one is a, a pretty amazing difference and when you're having to pay someone as we are uh, it, it makes a big difference so it's smell it's uh, it's ease uh, in cleaning uh, and comfort for the pigs those are the main things those are the main good things about using rice on bedding now the bad part about using rice hull bedding is in the beginning. Uh, initially you have to do just what Nario has been doing through most of this video and that's digging out the pin, getting it deep enough to put the rice hulls in. The whole reason that the rice hulls work is that they're deep. There's a lot of them in a pin. Uh, they're one meter deep. They're over three feet deep. Uh, and to make that happen, uh, it's just like this with a pick and a shovel, it has to be dug out. So the labor involved to, to use rice hull bedding in the beginning is uh, pretty intense. Um, there is labor in using the cement, uh, forms, mixing it, pouring it, finishing it, whatnot. But it's a lot more labor intensive uh, to use the rice hull bedding. Uh, other negatives are is that uh, for us, we have to go get it. Uh, there is a bit of time involved in going and get it and sacking it. I'm thinking probably about uh, if we averaged it all out it would be about uh, 15 man hours a week uh, to keep this piggery in rice hulls and that might be a bit high because we're still digging these pins out and filling them. Uh, it might only be 10 hours. Uh, every four months uh, basically every litter um, the rice hulls will be changed. Whenever a sow is moved out of a pen like this and into a farrowing pen, uh, I want the rice hulls changed out. And after two or three litters are raised in one of those farrowing pens, uh, I want the rice hulls changed out of there as well. So there is the expense of going and getting it, sacking it. Uh, if we were paying someone to sack them for us, we pay five pesos a sack, which is not much. Uh, but you do have to go and get it. It's time. You have to put them in. You have to take them out. Um, I think overall the, the time savings, I mean when you're talking 12 man hours a day to keep the cement floors cleaned, uh, that's 80 hours a week. There's no way we're spending 80 hours a week uh, maintaining the rice hulls. Maybe 20 altogether. Uh, with going and getting the rice hulls, uh, putting them in, taking them out, uh, maybe 20 man hours a week on this piggery are involved in the rice hulls. Uh, those are the good parts. It doesn't smell, it's cheap. Uh, once you get the pens done, it's easy to maintain. Uh, the pigs are comfortable. Um, I don't know what else I can add on. Oh, the, the water savings. The water savings of having rice hulls, like I say, is a couple thousand gallons a day in a piggery this size. And when uh, many of you are aware of our water problems here uh, and, uh, and are experienced by everyone in the last couple months here on Behold, and Joseph Seeley is of the opinion that it's going to get worse uh, as, as the years go by rather than get better. Uh, that the water table is just going to continue to fall here. Uh, hopefully uh, it won't get so bad in our lifetime uh, to just uh, throw a big wrench in everything, but it's the, you know, a couple thousand gallons every day is a lot of water. And so we don't have the, 
Uh, another thing with the uh, the expense is that if you if you start out with the rice holes, there's no need for a septic tank. Uh, that septic tank we build ten feet uh, ten feet square, ten feet across, uh, ten feet wide, and ten feet deep, and and cemented all that as well, and a cement top, and the leach line. All the labor involved in that was over a hundred thousand pesos. So uh, overall, it's cheaper uh, to use rice hole bedding. It's cheaper. It's cleaner. It doesn't smell so bad, uh, and it's much, much less labor moving forward. I know we've made a a, a lot of videos on all the time we've spent uh, changing over these pins. Uh, from the cement floors to the rice hole floors. Uh, hindsight is 2020. I wish I'd had the idea to make all these rice hole flooring in the beginning. It would have saved us about 300,000 pesos. Uh, when you figure in the construction costs, maybe even half a million pesos uh, from not doing it uh, with rice hole bedding in the beginning and then having to go back and redo it later. And it's been a big it's been a big drain on the profit and loss so far. Uh, this piggery would be uh, starting to make money right now instead of uh, continuing to try to offset the losses of refitting it and redoing everything. So, uh, a, a little bit higher uh, startup. Uh, but much much of the labor involved and digging these deeper are offset because you don't you don't have to put in a septic tank. Uh, I'd have to run the numbers exactly. Uh, it's probably pretty much a wash on startup cost one versus the other. Uh, probably about the same. But moving forward, the labor the the labor for maintaining the rice hulls is much less. Much less to clean them, much less to replace them, uh, much less smell. Overall, I mean, if I was to rate the rice hulls, uh, I would give them a 10. And the cement flooring, I would give about a 3. Uh, if that, I mean, I just, I am totally sold on using rice hull bedding. Now, rating it against the plastic slats that other piggeries use, uh, for us it's not an option because of the cost. Uh, plastic slat flooring is expensive and I can't speak to its durability or uh, more or less labor involved. I do know that you still have to have a septic tank because you're using water to clean them off. So I, I can't speak to that. But I would say just on just guessing and from my general knowledge of them, I would give the plastic flooring about a seven. So cement about a three, plastic about a seven, the rice holes easily a ten, ten plus. So that's why we've decided to go this way. Uh, and the cost on the plastic flooring is, is just puts it out of reach for us. So that's rice holes versus concrete flooring explained. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.